Dr. Breda Vitas, and I'm a dermatologist. So today I'm going to talk about antioxidants, specifically vitamin E. Do you ever wonder why in people of the same age, some have glowing skin and others do not? Well, aside from genetic differences and the natural expected changes as we age, our environmental exposure, lifestyle and habits can actually cause oxidative stress that can lead to the accelerated appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, dehydration, redness, and inflammation. Oxidants or free radicals are unstable molecules that the body produces during natural cellular metabolism or as a response to exposure to environmental pressures or stresses including UV radiation, pollution, toxins, alcoholic beverage intake, smoking, psychological stress, and even strenuous physical activity that may overpower our body's natural antioxidant defense mechanisms. When the formation of oxidants or free radicals is more than the antioxidant capacity of our body, oxidative stress happens and this causes damage to cells and body function. In our skin, it can lead to a lot of inflammation such as eczema and even acne. Antioxidants are substances that scavenge free radicals, neutralize them, and prevent cell damage. Now, I'm going to talk about vitamin E because a lot of my patients have been asking about it. The interest in antioxidants actually began in the 1980s when scientists revealed that free radical damage was actually involved in skin aging, vision loss, and other chronic disease processes. Vitamin E is a potent antioxidant that inhibits the production of free radicals and acts as the first line of defense protecting ourselves from damage. It prevents what we call lipid peroxidation or oxidative stress in fat. Our cell walls are made up of fat termed phospholipids and these walls prevent the bad stuff from getting inside our cells and keep the good stuff in where they are needed. When these cell walls are damaged, then we start to feel unwell. When our cell walls encounter free radicals, vitamin E traps and neutralizes them. Healthy cells mean healthy skin and can be seen as having a brighter complexion, no dryness, redness, or irritation, and having a smoother texture. Because vitamin E cannot be synthesized by the body, it's considered an essential nutrient and must be obtained through food or supplements. Our bodies need a certain amount of vitamin E to function properly as it protects the outer membrane of every cell in our body. Not getting enough of it may lead to decreased immune function, trouble with keeping our balance or walking, strange and unpleasant sensation in our limbs, diminished sense of touch, and even vision loss. Food sources include leafy greens and vegetable oils, and oral supplements are readily available in the market. There is no risk associated from consuming too much vitamin E from food, and there have not been reports of harmful side effects of supplement use in healthy people. However, the risk of side effects increases with doses greater than 1,000 mg or 1,465 IU of any form of tocopherol supplement daily. The established upper limits to all forms of supplemental alpha tocopherol in adults is 1,000 mg per day or 1,500 IU per day of the natural form and 1,100 IU per day of the synthetic form. Adequate intake of vitamin E does not cause weight gain, does not lead to stroke or formation of cancers. In fact, scientific studies have demonstrated that vitamin E can reduce UV-induced photo damage, decrease the risk of skin cancers, and stabilize our skin barrier mechanisms. To summarize, vitamin E is an antioxidant, which also inhibits platelet aggregation and inflammatory processes and has immune-enhancing activity. It has been found to lower the rate of chronic diseases and cancer, decrease the risk of mortality from thromboembolism and the tendency for clotting in normal healthy women, and more recent studies suggest that vitamin E supplements may slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease and age-related macular degeneration once they have begun. In the field of dermatology, vitamin E is shown to be effective in treating skin ulcers and blistering diseases and is beneficial in patients with atopic dermatitis. Topical vitamin E is also a popular ingredient in many over-the-counter anti-aging products. In my opinion, and at least in my personal daily skin regimen, antioxidants are a must. Not all skin products and supplements are the same. Be discerning with the products that you buy. Make sure that they are backed by clinical studies and research, 
and come from reputable sources. Find the product that suits your skin well, gives you the look and feel that you want without causing any major skin problems. Always remember that achieving a healthy, glowing, and young-looking skin is a combination of a lot of good habits such as getting enough sleep, exercising regularly, um, having good nutrition, and of course, having a sound skin regimen. And for any skin concerns, do not hesitate to consult your dermatologist.